Hallelujah. <laughs> good morning to you, Church of God by Faith. We say good morning and welcome to our National Church of God by Faith prayer call, our 10 days of national prayer uh, for our 99th General Assembly in Atlanta, Georgia, uh, December the 19th to the 22nd. This week, this Thursday, we'll be opening our 99th General Assembly, and we understand that we're coming together in Atlanta, rallying around the cry that the beauty of holiness, beauty, the holiness of God is still wondrous. It's still beautiful, sexy and attractive. It is splendorous and it's marvelous. And so we thank God for the mandate, the rallying cry, and we thank God for this sixth day of our 10 days of prayer for this 99th General Assembly. Once again, I'm your host, Minister Cornelius Dunmore, Stark, Church of God by Faith, Gainesville District, under the leadership of presiding Bishop James McKnight, Jr. Uh, we thank God for our district elder and father and the person of Dwayne Ganey, Gainesville District, and we thank God for every one of you on this call, every district, every region, hallelujah, every local assembly, uh, all of our leaders and all of those uh, within this great church. Uh, not just this, though, not just Church of God by Faith, those that join these calls and those even in the playback that will join us, that are part of the kingdom of God, the body of Christ, of which the Church of God by Faith is a part. Hallelujah. We're not the only ones um, crying and weeping for the Lord. So we thank God for all that will join us. And so uh, on this sixth day, uh, I'm, I'm thankful, I'm fired up, uh, I'm elated and excited that we're joined by a dynamic prayer leader, on this sixth day, and I'm talking about Pastor Michael Brown, Eastern Pennsylvania. And I thank God that he is joining us at the tip of the spear as the prayer team is asked that we as a national church, that we would pray for the elimination of every distraction and any and all opposition that would hinder the word of God from finding God's mark, from the word of God being downloaded into the people of God, that we would hear and walk in faith with what we have heard and then bring forth fruit. Hallelujah. We heard precious words from Superintendent Harry Johnson uh, calling us to remember that uh, God needs a helping hand. And so we want stone movers, glory to God, weed pullers to, uh, to work and to do the work and for God to work on it in his own special way to make sure that there's no distraction and eliminate all opposition to the word of God coming forth mightily and powerfully. And so I want to say that before we receive Pastor Michael Brown, that the word of God is told there's something about the importance of his word. You need to understand something. God, the most that God has ever said in history at any time is about his word. If you go check Psalms 119, you'll find it's the longest chapter of scripture in the Bible. you find over 170 verses there. You'll find that every single verse is a synonym for God's word. The most God has ever said at any time in history, at any one occasion, is about his word. Then we find ourselves looking uh, at Hebrews, glory to God, chapter 4. He said that the gospel was preached, uh, unto us was the gospel preached as well as unto them. That's Hebrews 4 and 2. He says, but the word being preached did not profit them, not being mixed with faith in them that heard it. You've got to mix faith with the Word of God. The Word of God can go forth as powerfully, as anointed, as uh, amazingly and miraculously as can be done. But if you don't mix faith with the Word of God, nothing is happening. Ain't jack going on. Glory to God. It's not going to profit you. So that's why we're praying this morning on the sixth day that every elimination, every distraction that would hinder the word of God would be removed, that we would mix faith with the word of God. Job just said in Job 23 and 12, I have esteemed the words of his mouth 
more than my necessary food. Think about that. Job is saying that God's word is more important than lamb chops and oxtails and all the rest of it, that I need the word of God more than I need sustenance and necessary food. I can sit up and starve and not have anything to eat, but if I have God's word, it's better for my soul. And so it's with that that we want to receive uh, Pastor Michael Brown, we thank God for him. Let's join him. We're not spectators. We're not sideline observers, but we're joining the man of God, crying out in the name of Jesus. Let's receive him now in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord, my brothers and my sisters. Praise God. Good morning to all. Father God, we thank you for your grace and your mercy. We thank you for your love and kindness. We thank you, God, for waking us up this morning starting us on our way, God. Thank you so much, God. Father, we thank you, Lord Jesus, for our bishops. Lord, I thank you, Lord Jesus, for our bishop and his wife and all our ruling elders, God, our leaders, God, and their wives, Father. We thank you, God, for this wonderful, great church, Lord, even the host, uh, uh, Cornelius, Lord. We thank you, God, for everyone that's taking part, Lord Jesus, in this 10-day, hallelujah, uh, consecrated prayer, Father. We thank you so much, God. As my wife and I, God, locked hands together, God, praying for us, Lord, as a family, Lord. Oh, God, I pray, God, uh, for the theme to, tonight, Lord, today, Father, this morning, Father, because, Lord, eliminating distraction, Lord, we thank you so much, God. It takes prayer. It takes your word, Father. And we thank you right now that we will use your word, God. Lord, to eliminate, Lord Jesus, the distraction, God. Lord, we thank you in our positions, Father. We thank you so much for your word, God, because your word is a lamp unto our feet. It is a light unto our path, God. In the name of Jesus, Father, I pray today, God. I pray for every family, God. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. I pray for every family, Lord Jesus, that they will get hungry for your word, God. Yeah, we're going to face opposition. We're going to face distraction, God, but it can be uh, eliminated, God, through your word, God. We have to become lovers of your word, God. Oh, God, we have to love you, God. We have to believe you, God, trust you, God. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus, I pray, God, in the name of Jesus, that we will get in love with your word, God. We'll get hungry for your word. We'll desire, Lord Jesus, this word more than food, God, for our spiritual being, for our growth, God, for our health, Lord, for our wealth, God, in the name of Jesus. We lift you up to this morning, God, Lord, because we love you, God. We wake up early, God, because we desire the, the word of God. We desire this milk. We desire this meat, God. In the name of Jesus, you're God all by yourself, God. It's health to us, God. It's life to us, God. We need your word, God. Oh, we come against the enemy now, God, because he will. Lord, this world has so much, God, to offer, God. The word says, Lord, that he's the prince, the powers of the air, God. In the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray, God, because you're the power. You're the God of of heaven and earth, God. You're the God of all things, God. And we look to you, God. You're more powerful than anything that the, ever has, the enemy has to offer, God. So we look to you, God. We lean on you. We trust you, God. We believe you. You walk in this word, God. And I pray today, God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, I pray for my brothers. I pray for my sisters, God. One that's being distracted, God. One that's going through, God in their bodies, God, in their mind, God, deep down in their spirit, God. I pray now in the name of Jesus that your word would bring life to them, God, that you would give them a, a, a hunger, God, change their appetite, God, in the name of Jesus. I pray, God, that you do it tonight, today, God, in the name of Jesus, that they will come, that we will come, Lord Jesus, refresh at our national convention. Lord, bless our convention, God, that it would be wholesome, God, that it will be a, a, a convention, Lord Jesus, that would change lives forever, God. It's your word, God. It's the love, Lord, that we have towards you, Father, in the name of Jesus. We need your word, Father. Oh, God, anoint every speaker, God, 
everyone to stand before us, God, in the name of Jesus. We'd be just like little birds in a nest, God. Oh, God, when mom come and bring the worm, God, every mouth is open, God, to receive, Lord. They're in unison, God, because, Lord, the food is coming, God. The nourishment is coming, Lord, to you. Their survival is coming, God. Oh, God, I pray right now, God, that we open up our hearts and our minds, our, Lord Jesus, our spirits to your word, God, every day. Oh, God, not just on Sunday. God, hallelujah, God. Not just on prayer night, God, hallelujah, but every day, God, in the name of you, that we will meditate and pray, God, in the name of Jesus. I pray for this whole body. I pray, Lord Jesus, for our neighboring churches. God, I pray, God, Jesus, Oh, Father, we have so much distractions here, Lord Jesus, in this in this life, in this life, Lord Jesus. All this stuff that's going on, Lord Jesus, hallelujah, and, 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 and the council, the president, the president of the United States, Lord Jesus, and his council, his board, the Democrats, Lord, and the Republicans. Lord, these distractions, God, and Lord Jesus, all this stuff that's going on in the world, God, brings distraction, bring anger, God. But, Lord, we can find comfort in your word. We can find comfort in your word, Lord. And I pray, God, that we will focus, God. But, Lord, if we are not focused on your word, we will be distracted. We will be pulled away, God, in the name of Jesus. Anxiety will set in, God, Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I pray today, God, that we would be focused. We would be hungry. Oh, God, whenever, whenever our positions come, God, we know how to eliminate it through prayer. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Don't bend the knees, God. Or however we pray, God. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus, that our sincere prayer, in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, Joe Gehaz, Joe did say, Lord. Oh, he was hungry for the word, God, in the name of Jesus. His word, your word, Lord Jesus, is more than his food, God. Lord, your word should be more than our food, God. We have a hungry. Oh, Jesus said, man shall not live by what bread alone, but by every word that cometh out of the mouth, that proceed out of the mouth of God. Lord, we need your word, God. In the name of Jesus. Sometimes, Lord Jesus, we have to put the physical down and put on the physical, on the spiritual God. In the name of Jesus. Oh, God, there's ways that we can get to you, God. Oh, that we can commune with you. That we can go into our secret closet, God. In the name of Jesus. And talk to you, God. Oh, God, where you will reward us, God. Where where you will manifest yourself to us, God. Manifest, Lord, your, your truth, Lord. And reveal your word, God. You will give us instructions, God. When we get true with you, when we become really faithful, when we believe your word, and when we become serious, Lord Jesus, with your word, God. Lord, you will reveal yourself, God, to us, God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, there's no weapon, Lord Jesus. No distraction that's formed against us. No weapon that's formed against us. Distraction, distraction. No weapon. That's a weapon, Lord, that that's formed against us shall prosper, God. We shall survive. We shall win. Satan, the blood of Jesus is against you now in the name of Jesus. Oh, no, we don't know what we're going to face tomorrow. We don't know what's coming up, God. But we trust your word, God. We know your word is already up. We know we can depend on your word, whatever comes about, whatever comes around. We can trust you. We can trust your word. We can stand in your word and believe your word, God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, I thank you, God. I thank you today, God. I thank you, God. Hallelujah. You are mighty God today. You are mighty God. Oh, bless your people, God. Bless your people, God, that we can stand together, God. We can stand together in this assembly, God. We can stand together, Lord, in prayer. We can believe together, God, in the name of Jesus. Praying for all our brothers and sisters. Oh, that we can't touch physically, Lord, but we can touch spiritually, Lord. We pray for all, God, that's struggling, God. They're coming out today. They're coming out now. Oh, in the name of Jesus, whatever they go through, in their mind, in their spirit, God, physically, God, whatever it is, God, oh, we come, Lord Jesus, in prayer, believing they're coming out today. They're coming out, God. 
The word of God is life. The word of God is our helper. The word of God is our buckle and shield in the name of Jesus. We lift you up. We magnify you. We glorify you today. In Jesus' name, we pray the prayer, God. We pray to you, God, because we love you. We love your word. Love your people. We love this district. We love this national. We love God's people. We love people. In the name of Jesus, I pray for the hallelujah. I pray, God, in the name of Jesus. For every legislator. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the word of God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Precious people, listen, I'm almost, I'm almost speechless. Almost. Glory to God. Because I considered something by the Spirit of the Holy Ghost while the man of God declared and shared about and cried out back to God that we, that our hunger and thirst, glory to God, that our appetite, uh, the way we crave, y'all know, the way we crave certain foods. There's just certain things that we like. Um, let me not bring up chicken sandwiches and Chick-fil-A and Popeye's, but there's certain things that we have such an appetite and a taste for. And, and Pastor Brown just simply uh, cried out to the Lord that our own appetite, that God would work a physiological work in us that would cause our taste buds and uh, hallelujah, Jesus, um, uh, our glands, our, 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 our taste glands and the spirit to, to become uh, wet for God's word, to, to, to hunger and thirst for only the milk of the word, the sincere milk of the word that we might grow thereby. And it was that the, the thing that I heard was this, was that, the first attack, Satan's first recorded attack in the Word of God, in Genesis chapter 3, verse 1, his first attack was against the Word of God. And he has not changed. He has been running the same offense for the last thousands of years. He has not changed the play call. Glory to God. Genesis 3 and 1, the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field. And he said unto the woman, ladies, women of thy faith, do you hear? Genesis 3 and 1, he said unto the woman, yea, hath God said, you shall not eat of every tree of the garden. I think the Amplified renders it this way. He said, can it really be that God has said, you shall not eat from any tree of the garden? Can it really be that God said, this? Do you know what God said? And did God mean what you think he said? Glory to God. It's the same play trying to distract us from his word. But I thank God for Elder Brown just simply crying out to God that, that we would cut through the smoke screen, that we, would, that we would cut through the distraction like a knife through butter, and that we would see clearly the word of God, the importance of God's word, the power that is, that is contained in the word of God. That he did say, so shall my word. 
word be which goeth forth out of my mouth. And he did say the word of God is quick and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing of sunder, soul and spirit, joints and marrows, and deserting the fit, the thoughts and intents of the heart, that we would realize that this distraction all around us and Satan is trying to stop us from the one thing, the power that God has given us. Hallelujah, Jesus. Paul, uh, Peter said it this way. He said that we have a more sure word of prophecy, wherein you do well that you take heed, as unto a light that shines in a dark place until the day dawn and the day star rise in your heart. Hallelujah, glory to God. That's what he was saying. That's what Pastor Brown was saying. Glory to God that everything from the doctor report, from our, the salvation of our children, sickness and disease in our body, glory to God. The, work, the Satan is coming to that pastor. He's coming to that district leader, telling him this district is not going to grow. Y'all are never going to have uh, Asians and never going to have Hispanics join this district. This district is nothing, we nothing but a bunch of black people. It's never going to become diversified. It's never going to change. But but the enemy is trying to lie and distract us from the truth of God's word, that God's word is true and his word it shall be fulfilled. Hallelujah. That's what Pastor Brown was saying. And I thank God for the word. We, our answer is yes and amen. We see through the lies. We see through the smoke screen. The word of God shall be fulfilled. His word shall inundate this 99th General Assembly. We shall have the beauty of his word. The beauty of holiness will reside within us and will, it will enlighten us, will quicken us, energize us, and we have an option to function. So we just give Jesus the glory. We give him all the honor and the praise. We want to encourage him. Hey, join us tomorrow for our seventh day uh, in these 10 days of national prayer for our 99th General Assembly, the beauty of holiness, uh, Atlanta, Georgia, kicking off Thursday, December 19th to the 22nd. Join us tomorrow for our seventh day. Let's go forward today. Make it a great day. In Jesus' name, amen and hallelujah.